Hi, I'm Rick Schwartz, San Diego Zoo Ambassador, and I'm here at the Galapagos Islands to see how conservation plays such an important role for the Galapagos tortoise. These tortoises are very lucky. They have the Galapagos National Park, working very hard to ensure a safe future for these islands and the extraordinary species that call them home. The Galapagos Islands are a volcanic archipelago off the west coast of South America and are part of Ecuador. Each island has unique flora and fauna that have evolved and survived hundreds of thousands of years. Great care is taken to educate the local human population as well as the many tourists who visit these magnificent islands every year. At the Galapagos National Park, guests are welcome to walk the paths of the research center and view the young tortoises of various ages in the nursery area. El programa de reproducción y crianza en cautiverio es importante para... The captive breeding program is important, not just for the National Park of the Galapagos, but for the conservation of tortoises overall. In our history, we have seen tortoise populations severely reduced, and reproduction for this species occurs slowly. Without the help of this program, it would be impossible to recover this species. Sería imposible recuperarlas. Further down the path, there are opportunities to walk in the habitats of the spectacular adult Galapagos tortoises. Visitors also get a chance to see two of the most famous tortoises, Lonesome George and Diego. Each represents a nearly extinct subspecies with an important lesson to teach. Lonesome George is the last tortoise from Pinta Island in the Galapagos. Attempts to breed Lonesome George with similar subspecies have been unsuccessful, so he is literally the last tortoise of his kind. Although it's too late for his subspecies, Diego has a different story. Diego is from Española Island, the oldest island in the Galapagos. He lived at the San Diego Zoo from the 1930s to the 1970s. When the Galapagos National Park realized his subspecies was nearly extinct, the San Diego Zoo worked with them to return Diego to the Galapagos Islands. Diego was placed with the remaining two male and 12 female tortoises, and breeding was very successful. Now over 1,600 tortoises have been returned to the island of Española, demonstrating how organizations can work together to ensure the survival of a species. I think people not only in the Galapagos, but all over the world can help in the conservation of tortoises in various ways. He mostly is, is responsible for the repopulation of Española. The first is to share the message about the tortoise as well as the Galapagos, which is a unique place to conserve, so future generations can see and enjoy them as well. The other way is to help economically. It's very costly to maintain this conservation effort, and some ways to help are by assisting with intellectual, technical, and economical means. The most important thing to accomplish in order to conserve the Galapagos is to make human development and conservation work together compatibly. Because humans depend on the natural world. The natural world does not depend on us, however, and we need to be conscious of this, not just in the Galapagos, but throughout the world. We need to change the way we act so we can guarantee our own survival, or humans will be condemned to extinction. It's hard to believe because of human activity, we almost lost them. But now, with science, knowledge, and conservation, humans are making a difference, and these animals are making a comeback. <laughs>